Today we are going to create this particle drawing effect in After Effects without using any third party plugin. You can use this technique to draw particles around any object or write some text whatever you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright so I'm in After Effects and for this one I have already recorded this video of me writing some text. Just take out your smartphone and just pretend that you are writing some text. And after that you can import that video in after effects so first let's create our new composition let's call this one main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok let's drag our video inside this composition perfect so once you have this we are ready to track our finger so there are a couple of things that you can take care of before shooting your video so for example you can see that while i was shooting my shutter was very low so because of that i have motion blur in my footage so here you can see we have this motion blur but in case you are recording on a camera or smartphone you can use the higher shutter to get rid of any kind of motion blur which will help you in tracking but since i was not able to do that so i'm going to do it manually to track your finger we can enable the tracking panel so go to windows and just enable it and after that you can double click on this video and then click on track motion and it will give you this point now we can scale this up so the bigger the box is, the more search area it will look into. It will make the search a little bit smaller, slower, but it will give you best results. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And once you're happy with this, we can click on this play icon. So you can see that it will start tracking our finger. Now the issue with this is that you can see that here we have the motion blur and now our tracker is not following our finger. So you can get rid of it by simply having no motion blur in your video. But since I have motion blur, so we can do it manually. So just zoom in and you can use the page up key to go back and page down key to go forward. So let's go and press page down key. Now you can manually match this tracker. So just press page down and just move the tracker to your finger. And just keep on doing this till you have like covered all of this hand motion. And in the same way, you can like just keep on going and it will track all of your hand movement. And once you're done with this, we can copy all of this data to a null object. So for that, let's create a null, right click new, let's add a null object. And once you have done the tracking part, so just click on edit and then select the null object, which you have, click on OK, then click on apply then click on OK again. So it will copy all of this tracking data to this null object. So I will go and just simply track my footage and I will come back once it is done. So now the tracking is done and you can see that our null object is like perfectly following our finger. And this is exactly what we want. So once you're done with this, we are ready to add the particles. For that, let's right click and create a solid. And we can make it black for now. Just click on OK. Now on top of this, I'm going to apply the CC particle system to effect. So before we proceed, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. So let's continue. And once you're done with this, the first step is to match this to our finger. So for that, we can go inside the producer and here we have this position. Let's select this, press P for position as well. Now you can hold on the Alt key and click on this stopwatch and we can pick whip and just select this position of the null now if i press play you can see that now the particle emitter is following our finger which is exactly what we want but there are a few things that we have to tweak out so the first is we don't want the birth rate to be this high so we can control it by simply lowering down and now you can see we have all of these particles now for the producer i'm going to set both of these to zero x and y to zero and let's go to the physics and velocity let's set this to zero gravity i'm going to set this to let's say negative 0.1 so that you can see we have all of these particles just simply writing down and we can probably increase the birth rate a little bit like that now let's set the gravity to 0.1 for now so that all of these particles are like going up but we don't want them to like go really high so for that we can increase the resistance so that they will stay there for some times and after that they will go back like that and we can tweak a couple of things so velocity i'm going to set this to 0.1 so that we have all of these particles like little bit 
fluffy and flowing perfect let's go to the particle and we can change a couple of things over here as well first i'm going to change this to there are a couple of presets that you can choose if you want you can have some stars now these are like way too big so i'm going to decrease the size to let's say 0.5 and the depth size we can set it to pretty much same or we can set this to zero and let's increase the longevity and longevity or whatever you call it to four so now here you can see we have these particles and i think this looks good maybe we can increase the number of particles so i'm going to set this to six now we have more particles emitting perfect let's tweak this further so size variation we can set this to 100 and max opacity we can set this to 100 as well color we can set this to yellow for both but if you want you can have a different depth color so as the particles fade away you can see that they will change their color but for this example we want both of these to be same now let's play around with couple of these settings so first we don't want the particles to emit in the beginning so for that we can add a keyframe for the birth rate let's press u and let's go to the very beginning so we want the particles to start emitting from here so we can have it to this point and let's go one frame back and set this to zero so it won't emit any particles beforehand and will start emitting only after that we can do the same thing at the end as well so at this point somewhere around here we can have the keyframe and let's go a little bit ahead and we can set the value to zero so that it will stop emitting particle like that perfect so here we have our very nice reveal now there are a couple of things that you can change so here we have some faded spheres if you want to do that we also have some of these small particles and we have some cubes it's completely up to you. you can just play around with these so for this one i'm going to set this to faded sphere and let's set this to add so just to have a little bit of more glow now you can see we have all of these particles perfectly aligned up now if you don't want them to like this far away you can set the velocity to like even lower so if i set this to zero you can see that all of these particles will form a line but if i like let's set this to 0 0.05 now you can see that they will have little bit of this gap between them but for this one i'm going to set this to 0 0.1 so that they have this nice gap perfect so here we have all of these main particles but we want some little bit of particles to like go up as well so for that we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's select this press u and on this one we can change a couple of things so first we don't want these many particles so i'm going to set this to let's say 0.5 don't forget to change it over here as well let's set this to 0.5 as well so let's just keep it to somewhere around 7 yeah i think this looks good now let's focus on the secondary particles let's select this and first thing we can increase the producer size so let's increase the x producer size so now you can see that we have some particles that are wide and let's go to physics set the gravity and in the negative direction so that all of these particles will like start moving up so if i press play you can see that these particles will start moving up but we can set this to let's say 0 0.5 so that they are not moving too fast maybe a little bit less and we can change these particles as well so instead of faded i am going to set them to star and let's set their longevity to let's say five so that they will start fade after that so here you can see we have some particles coming up as well so these are some basic settings that you can play around but if you want you can experiment on your own so once you're happy with this we can add some glow to this so for that let's search for glow and let's drag it on to the bottom one let's increase the radius like that let's decrease the glow intensity and let's keep it really tight let's duplicate this and on this one we can really increase the size of the radius and we can play around with the threshold as well so here you can see we have some stacked glow now if i press play we have this really nice glow we can copy this and paste it onto the these small particles as well 
So here you can see we have our final text reveal. So this is how you can create this particle drawing effect in After Effects. Now you can use it to write any text. You can highlight any object using your finger. It's completely up to you. And the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.